universal equatorial coordinate system. Uh, in this, uh, the position of any astronomical object are given by two angles. The first one is known as right ascension and the second one is known as a declination. Now on the celestial equator, uh, first uh, we must draw the observer meridian and then the celestial equator. So this is the celestial equator. On the observer meridian, we have Zenith and Nadir. And this one is celestial North Pole and this is celestial South Pole. Let's suppose uh, we want to locate the position of an astronomical object, which is, let's say, a star lying on this R circle. Now to define the right ascension, we first specify the point of Aries, which must be uh, lying on the celestial equator as this uh, point of Aries is actually the point of intersection of celestial equator and the ecliptic circle. Now let's say this is the point of Aries and from this point of Aries, you need to move toward the right of this point of Aries on that R circle where the star lies. Since uh, the star is lying on this R circle, so I must move over here. So this point of intersection of the R circle and the celestial equator, this angle is known as the right ascension alpha. And the measurement is obviously from the center. Now the second angle, which is the declination, declination is uh, from uh, the celestial equator and you have to move on the R angle toward the star. So this would be the declination. So this angle is delta is known as the declination. So this is how we specify uh, the coordinate in the universal equatorial coordinate system. Let's figure out uh, one question that I want to locate uh, the position of uh, position of a star on a celestial equator with the following coordinate. That is the right ascension alpha is equal to 4r and declination equals to 45 degree. Now first, uh, if you want to locate a star with such coordinate, draw the celestial sphere, then draw the celestial equator. Let's say this is the celestial equator and on the observer meridian, we have Zenith and uh, these, we have the celestial North Pole. This one is celestial South Pole. Now the uh, uh, right ascension, that is alpha. This is the right ascension. Let's say this is the point of Aries and from the point of Aries move toward the right side. So in one hour, we know the angle is 15 degree. Therefore in four hour, the angle would be 15 into four. That would be 60 degree. So you have to move uh, by 60 degree. Let's say this point represents alpha equals to 60 degree or simply four hour. Now passing from this point, draw an R circle, draw an R circle in such a way. Now from this point of intersection, try to move in the upward direction because the declination is positive. So the star must be lying in the northern hemisphere. So moving upward by 45 degree. So the star must be at this position. All right, so uh, this is how we locate a star in the universal equatorial coordinate system. And obviously uh, such a coordinate system is uh, independent. That is the advantage of universal equatorial coordinate system. That is, it is in, uh, both the coordinate, both coordinate are independent of observer position, observer position or simply the latitude. The second is uh, both angle are independent of the dunal motion. Both angle are independent of dunal motion. That is 24 hour motion. That means that even if uh, uh, we look at the star dunal motion, let's say this is the celestial equator. This one is Zenith and this one is Mali. Uh, let's say this is Celestial North Pole, Celestial South Pole. So if I consider a star with a dunal motion, let's suppose this is the dunal motion of a star. And uh, if at any given time, let's say T1, the position of the star is this and 
assuming uh, that the right ascension is over here then uh, this would represents the alpha and this would represents the declination this green color with the uh, journal motion that means after some time obviously the star uh, must be moving uh, displaced by some position let's say this is the position of the star then obviously this right ascension point is also being displaced so right ascension would move to the side in such a way that the alpha this time right ascension of the star remains constant is the right ascension of the star is still constant so right ascension alpha do not changes and obviously declination though uh, is not at all changing so this is how uh, this uh, universal equatorial coordinate system is independent of the dual motion of the star thank you for watching